Yo, what up? <laughs> you tuned into the inevitable Amel. It's your boy Ray Anfi. And we got a special guest, Miss Monica. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> She's a little shy, but we're gonna go straight into Who it. Who said I was shy? Alright. So today's topic. Can you have a friend with benefits and not catch feelings? So, let's go straight into it. I'd like to get your um, views on that. Your views on that. Me personally? Yeah. Can you have sex with somebody consistently and literally not catch feelings? Like we ain't hanging outside out of sex, outside of sex. I mean, y'all hang out at the crib. You know like, what I'm saying, watch movies. We get it on and it goes away. Like, he leaves the room. Yeah, I mean, y'all get it on, he might lay in the bed, y'all not watch a movie, but then y'all ain't like going home. Well, what's your definition of a friend with benefit thing? Uh, we get it on. Alright. He leave. We call up again. Okay. We meet up again. Alright. All right. So, can you have consistent sex with him and not catch feelings? Yes. Really? Yes. For how long? For how can long is, on? like... Yeah. No, how long can you have sex with someone without catching feelings? A long time. How long is that? Can you put that in years, months? Uh, or? from experience, I guess some years. Yeah. What? How, yeah. Wait, I call BS. I call BS. All right, check this out, man. This is just my opinion. Okay. I feel like ain't nobody gonna consistently have sex with you, be intimate with you, and not catch no feelings. Cause some people take sex as sex. Some people feel like sex is more of a connection. But okay. if I'm messing with you consistently. For over two a month, two years, I'm gonna find a relationship though. Hmm? It's gonna be off and on for two years because, like, you, you yeah, know, you're gonna you like, start dating people or whatever. But at the same time, if if it's an understanding that you guys already have, what, what's the problem? Like, I understand that me and you, we okay. just wanna get orgasms. Right. Cool, let's have orgasms together and you can leave after. Right. I'm, I'm not trying to cuddle, I'm not trying to watch no movies. That's when stuff gets. Tangled up, and you start getting feelings. Are you over twenty five? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going up. I mean, I I ask that because I feel like um, it's hard for a guy, and well, it's hard for a guy to approach a woman over twenty five and not just like be like, yeah, hey, I'm just trying to fuck, you know. They gotta like play it off as, hey, I want to build like a relationship with. So it's so like a lot yeah. to get what they want. Yeah. As a guy younger than 25? Are you talking over about like 25. A, over 25. Yeah, over 25 is like nah. So you think all not, dudes over 25 are trying to waste a woman's time? Some. But you just said you just said it's hard for a man to approach a female. No, to keep it real, like as an A girl, um, I just wanna fuck. Wait, so so okay, so you're saying if a dude approaches a female that's twenty five and up, they gotta lie to say, Hey, I wanna be in a relationship to get the family benefits or yeah because it's like a woman over 25 kind of like knows exactly what she wants and she don't want to bullshit her time because she knows time is the most valuable thing that she has so for somebody just to come over and just want to fuck it's like nah i'm not i'm not rolling sometimes so pretty much i get what you're saying i get what you're saying yes like um my clock is ticking yeah right i'm gonna need to have children's and the families <laughs> oh. yeah. but I still need to get my rocks off every once in a while, right? So if a dude approach you and but just... that game is gonna be harder, it's, it's a little well, bit well, harder. I can have that separate over here <laughs> and still be dating and figuring out other people here. That's the thing. You just gotta cut it off when something starts to get serious or when someone is seeming like not a waste of time. So with that being said, if you're doing that, if you're playing both sides of the field over here and over there, but you loving on this person and fucking on this person. Whoa, 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 I'm not talking about loving because I'm before <laughs> I get to that point, that's when we cut off. That's it's like, like a, a it's like an interest in this person over here, right? Okay, so once you start getting interested in somebody, this other part needs to be cut off. But I feel like once you're interested in this person over here, like fully, and you guys are having sex, then that person will get cut off, right? Your friends with benefits? Yeah. Yeah. And then you're just relying on this person, like, mostly because you're, like, in tune with him. Or can you just be like, <laughs> you, you have good sex, I'm in tune with you, but because I'm in tune with you, I gotta cut you off because we had potential to be in a relationship, but 
it ain't working out, so I'm going, I'm rocking over here. No, that, that, that defeats the purpose, that defeats the goal. <laughs> the goal of a friends with benefits is to have your orgasm in between relationships or whatever. No That's all it is, it's sex with I, no strings attached. Like, so, I'm not trying to cuddle with you, I'm not okay. trying to be cute, I don't want you to buy me nothing. Right. That's it. That was my thing. I call it bullshit. A little bit. Because, check this out, this, I could just be speaking for me. If you're having, if I have sex with someone more than five times, mm -hmm. and my time, you know, my time is about it. But I feel like I'm doing this with you, got you coming over, I'm coming to your house, driving to you. There gotta be some type of feelings involved. Because I'm not gonna Why really... Why can it be just great sex? It could be great sex, but then sex get old quick. Let's be honest. Like, like I mean, it does. Sex get old quick. At least for me it does. Because if you're not, if, it, if you're just pleasing me, Physically, but not mentally, I'm gonna get turned off. I'm gonna get bored. You feel me like that? If I'm yeah. gonna consistently have sex with you. I gotta be interested in you because I could get sex from this person, that person, whatever. Not to sound like a hoe, but I'm just saying. I'm sure you could get hey, sex. Hey, you just don't want to get your you, number up. That's you, why exactly. you have friends with benefits. You You're not trying to get your body okay. count up. But, but we're talking about one person consistently. Consistently. One person. Hey, so that's I must like be one into person. you. If I'm having sex with you consistently, then it's not just sex because you something you turn me on mentally. More than physically. That's you personally. Because I get bored. That's you personally. If it's just sex. So that's why I feel like, hey, it's BS. Some people can be different, but it works consistent. Especially for a year. Oh, God. I, I got to care about you a little bit. I, or a lot of bit. A year, a year. Yeah. You a guys year, have to have some type of. It got to be some connection. Bond or whatever. It's can not you, just no way. Because I can't just get turned on. Maybe the first one. But I, I can't just get turned on just physically. You got to turn me on mentally or that. If we just have sex. Okay, but. But, but, but you say some but when dumb. You, it's. You know what I'm saying? So yes, that just turns me but off. But when you're looking for a friends with benefits, you aren't looking for that. At the time. But, but, period. but, but when no, you become consistent. Period, plain and simple. That's okay. what it is. That's what it is. You just want some good dick. I literally, I used to have friends with benefits. He ended up getting married, whatever. Okay. But I had him for like three years. We was off and on for three years. Oh, so you had a friend with benefits for three years. Word. And you're going to start and tell me and ill that you did not have no feelings for this person. You gonna sit here and tell us that no, I'm gonna keep it real though, right? She said three years. You wanna sit here and tell us that you ain't catch no feelings from him for three years? Feelings as in like want more. I care about him. I, yeah. Because I cared about him before. Like we was like cool. We was friends before. Okay. Yeah, connection. And I care about him, yeah. but there's no like wanting more romantically involved. Like one time he tried to cuddle with me, I was like, you gotta go. Okay, so as it progress for three years, it, it was still like, don't touch me. And like, from that moment on, he never cuddled. Like, it was like in and out on with life. But how often were you guys having sex? Uh, a couple times a month. Oh, that's a couple. It depends on <laughs> I was just averaging it out. <laughs> what is, okay. I mean, I mean, this is for debate, but what it sounds like is um, you're really guarded. Meaning you have a, a big wall up. It could be probably, not sound like a psychiatrist, but I'm very observant. Okay. It could be probably because either somebody played you in the past or you probably went into a relationship and gave me your all into it to only end up being played or being used, wherever you want to call it. Because, it, because that happened, you're like, I'm not arrogant, nah nigga, I, I ain't trusting you, I'm not going to let that wall down. So because of that, the moment shit gets a little... Too close. Oh no, you gotta go. Oh, you're coloring with me because you don't want to feel that again. You don't want to get hurt. So it's not like more of a fear. It's not necessarily a fear. It's a you don't want to be hurt. I had that understanding with him. Like it's not necessarily that I didn't want to be hurt. Like I never could see a relationship with him at all. Okay. It was like a. But he wasn't your only friend with benefits. What you told us though. So there was other ones in the past, and you just said that you just ain't feel nothing from them. One was a year, one was three years. So it's same yeah. time. Yeah. Were you guys kissing? Very rarely. <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> <laughs> I love that face. Okay. I believe, like, kissing. <laughs> kissing. kissing is a little bit more kissing. intimate and it kind of gets you a little uh, yeah. connection. Yeah. Well, like, we didn't kiss very often. It was like rough, stupid sex. Okay. It was like... Kind of, I hate you, sex. Oh, okay. Like, you know, like, like you have arguments. Like, and... like, um, I would text him and be like, Yo, I'm pissed off, come over. Okay. And it would just like, bam, bam. But was it like, a, that out my frustration? The way you describe me, and I don't know if this is crazy, it's like a 
okay, just come over, whatever, and you just ass up face down. As That's soon as the way I, I come, like to fuck. No, no, as soon as I come open the door, you're not even opening the door, the door's already unlocked, or I got a key. Door's whatever, unlocked. And just already just bust it wide open for me. Let's go. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's <laughs> going on. Oh, Yo, man. I'm going to let you talk because I got some questions. So I'm going to let, let you get your question out. If I already out. have that understanding, then why not? Like, it's... I'm pissed off. Because, I mean... Uh, so you get pissed off at the guys you catch feelings for? No, 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 no. I remember one time I was... I think... I can't remember something happening. I think something happened at work and I was just annoyed. And I was just like, had a shitty day. What's okay. up? He's like, oh, I ain't busy. Okay, come through. Okay. Oh, um, damn. I lost. Uh, <laughs> shit. Lost my train of thought. Well, while he's bringing that out, what happens when they catch feelings? Because let's keep it real. How many of your friends with benefits? How many of your friends with benefits in their catch feelings? Most of them. Yeah, that's why a lot of them have last name. So okay. So let's go a little bit deeper then. Why? No, no, I'm just curious. So, okay. Look at her. Like, no, okay. So, every friend with benefits that you had, I ain't gonna put it out there, but let's say, how many friends with benefits have you said you had in your life? Like, we'll just say. Four or five. Four or five. Right. Out of all of them. No attachment, no feelings, no nothing. Just straight sex. Sex. I think I still out. talk to one to this day. But even then, it is nothing. And barely then. But initially, there has to be like some form of like. Attraction? Yeah. Right? Like, he's hot. <laughs> is that all that it's about though? Just looks? And they look good? When it comes to friends with benefits, yeah. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. I'm glad you all said right. that. Right. So, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go, go ahead. I remember now. Alright, go ahead. Um, Cause, I mean, as a woman, you, you still have to like, be like, wet, basically. Fuck it. You gotta be wet. Oh, yeah, there like some, yeah, there has to be like some type I'm of... I'm always wet. Oh, damn. <laughs> always. Okay. Always. So if Trevor Flav came into the bedroom, you busting out. I would still be wet, but I would say no. Oh, no, thank you. A, now it's not the time. I can't argue with that. Go a ahead and answer. go ahead okay. and look at the clock. It's the wrong time. Are you a nymphomaniac? Am I what? Are you like speak up when you say nymphomaniac? Are you a nymphomaniac? <laughs> Fred was on the with nymphomaniacs. Crazy about sex, like a dick. I'm not like, self-proclaimed. No, and I haven't been diagnosed. No. Sure. But how often do you like to have sex throughout the week? Like if I have a consistent, like if I didn't have to reach out for it. Like if I was in a relationship, every night. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least. And I, I, and I go to work at 4 o'clock in the morning, so that 2, 2 o'clock, 2.30, uh, wake up call, ain't nothing like it. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, that's your... Alright, um, oh, so, alright, so let's go on. Now, your thing is... When you find a friend with benefit, you just say, hey, they're hot, and they only got one thing just to make you feel good. Now, I find that hard to believe because um, what if they look good, the sex is good, but mentally, let's just say in the middle of the set, they just say say some dumb shit like, you know, just corny. Oh, yeah, uh, dumb as uh, a box uh, of bricks. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, because some shit don't flow with people. Oh, is it mine or this? That just turns you off. But would you keep continually messing with them even though mentally they turn you off, but the sex is good? But mentally, they turn you off just their whole whatever happened. I mean, that would take a lot. Like, it would be like... Because, because you know, it's not like just all about ass. physical and just look at it. It like, is mostly physical. Like, I have... So that could be... There's a, been a friends with benefits that I, like, actually hated their personality. But the sex was that good? You kept them around? I mean, ain't nothing else but sex. So it's like, so it doesn't nothing turn you off in the middle of sex? As long as the shit is good, it's hard for you to get turned off? He ain't speaking. I'm cool. Oh, my God. Dude's love to... What? Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> what are we high five for? Like, he's having <laughs> He's having visions right now. Fam. <laughs> As well. Um oh, hey. Okay. Now. Ew. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Can you have consistent sex with someone and not cash feelings? Oh well, consistent. On the other hand, I got a good dick, so I can't. I got another the question. Well, this is I'm relating it all back. Yeah, by you to state that yeah. I don't know because my thing is somebody got good whatever yeah, they, they, they don't have to say. They don't have to talk about. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I that's never had a brand. True. But if you can hit it once and you can like consistently hit it, even though they got a boyfriend, you got a good dick. Bottom line, you're a female. I can't really answer that. Um, 
Hold he on. said, say, say what you just said. You just say you hit it. Go ahead, tell her what you just yeah, said. Yeah, and you have a boyfriend and they yeah. still let you hit it or whatever the keys may be. Whatever circumstances mm-hmm. they're in, you got a good dick. Is that true? Her, not necessarily her boyfriend just might have trash dick. You might have average what? ass dick. Oh, so like out of like three women that have boyfriends that just got average dick. Oh, you a homewrecker? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you're a self-proclaimed homewrecker. Well, no, I'm just... You just getting in where yeah, you fit in? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what it is. So, with that being said, okay, but I want to hear your, but can you consistently, like multiple times, sex with a woman? No, um, and I, I feel like some type of emotional is, attachment is going to happen, especially if we're having sex and we're kissing, which is why, like, really, I don't kiss women unless I'm, like, really very intimate, and especially oral sex is like, yo, I'm putting my mouth on you, Mm. like, shit. So you don't eat pussy? Yeah, I'll eat pussy, but like, it's sometimes. like... sometimes. Yeah, but You have to I be have on to a certain be, level with the person? Yeah, I, there has to be like an attachment. And pussy is ugly. What? What? Uh, I got this agree, man. Oh, oh alright. I'm going to agree. I, I, I don't, don't want to see a picture. Pussies. That's been ran through multiple millions of times. No, just, okay? just like Million the, man no, march. The but of it. I mean, like, okay. See, but okay. I'm straight 100%. And that's why I say pussy is ugly because I don't think girls are attractive and they're pretty. And like, we can make out, but you try to get me to eat your taco, I don't you even know, look at your taco. Or, or touch it, nothing. Huh? Yes, I have had a threesome, but I didn't do nothing with the taco. Uh, <laughs> you did nothing with the female talking, and you didn't do nothing. You didn't touch it, nothing. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, no taco. See, here's my thing. We're doing that. Okay. So, friend with benefits. So, oh, wait, come on, first thing, you, you didn't finish answering the question. All right, so. He skipped around. Yeah, 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 you skipped around the whole question I asked you. So, can you? Well, he said there, was, there would be feelings involved. So, there would be feelings involved. Okay, yeah. so definitely. Okay, yeah. cool. Because, I mean, so, I for like six months, you couldn't have a fuck buddy. I mean, yeah, you can, but anything longer than what it is, basically, is like, yo. Anything longer than what? Like, let's say. How are you going to put a quantitative time on? I'm going to say like eight months. Cause like I still want to respect you as a person. Like I still want to like go out with you and. Oh no, that's not a fun friend with benefits. That's like a friend. Yeah, but if, if you mad bad. cool and I'm sticking my dick inside of you and if I'm fucking you bra or whatever occasionally. Whoa, 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 whoa! You don't be fucking no friends with sometimes benefits. Sometimes yes, you do. Sometimes, sometimes they bullshit. Yes, yes, they, yes. Sometimes they have. Yeah, but no. Because you don't know you where don't that person's me. dick has been. For three years that you had sex with this guy, y'all never won. Always wore a condom. Oh, hell no. Then he started popping out kids. I said, thank God it wasn't me. Wore a condom. I don't believe it. I don't. I, I mean, I got no reason to doubt you, but come yeah, on so now. Because, why don't you believe because, Okay, because when you have a friend. Safe sex is the best sex. When you have a oh, friend oh, oh, oh. with benefits. Obviously, there's some type of trust there, too. And there's a little there's bit of trust. There's a trust, a trust and there's a boundary, though, a little bit. But a friend bit with benefits, meaning. God, no, okay. I trust you to be safe and put a condom on. Yeah, that's fine. Like but that's some, okay, and that, that could be for you. But I can, 80% of front of benefits, they don't be wrapping up all the time. I, I that's a damn that shame because I don't know who he fucked yesterday or the day before. The day before. I mean, with your front of benefits, it's more like, do y'all have any boundaries to where he fucks whoever you want to fuck and you fuck whoever you want to fuck? Facts. So that's the case. So why why do you know as a friend with benefit then? You got this person, that person, this person. Cause I'm a friend with benefit. I mean, yes, I'm not I'm not person. one. I'm not his girlfriend, so I'm not trying to Risk. hold him back from anything. So you suck dick for the condom on? I don't even suck. No, no, no. You don't suck dick. I, I do. And what you suck dick with a condom on? Not friends with benefits. That's, that's, that's <laughs> good. Now, now what? What'd you say? Not what? I didn't suck his dick. Out of three, never. Oh my hell no. Out of three years. Right. You never gonna do that. That was a, okay, you Come guys on. you had limitations there. Oh. That was one of the limitations. Oh. He didn't want to eat my pussy, I don't want to suck no dick. But you guys are like kissing. I told you we didn't kiss very You much. said occasionally. Right? Like it was like rare. Okay, like, okay, that's just with that one. Any oh. other friend with benefits did the same rules pertain to that. I mean, it didn't start out as friends and benefits. It ended up being. I don't want, okay. Did you show uh, you some roast Ill, beef? Uh, he yeah. showed me some female French, part saying Some that. French dip sandwich. <laughs> Fam, not everything is great as equal. Oh, that's just a drawing. Let me see. Oh, well, I mean, they got the real thing, but I'm not. Uh, mm. 
And nowadays, let's be honest, I feel like most relationships starts out as friends with benefits. Because yeah. now, when you meet with someone, y'all date, and me and Il, we talked about this before, I don't think people even ask each other out anymore. It's more like, hey, we just go out and then yeah, y'all it just goes into, we ain't lazy. It's just, that's just, how, that's just how it is now. Y'all lazy. Do you still ask the female out? Like, like, do you be like, hey, you want to be my girlfriend? Or does it just happen? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, whoa. I thought you meant like out on a date. No, no, no. Oh, my no. bad. I'm saying that most my relationships bad. nowadays starts out as friends with benefits. Yeah. Let's be real. You usually meet somebody else and then it's just kind of progress. I can see that. Most of them do. Yeah. You know, I don't think people really sit there and, um, hey, you want to be my girlfriend? Or, be my uh, that, oh, there's a, uh, okay. I think there's one, probably one friend with benefits that if, like, a couple years back he was like, hey, you know what? I think we should try something. <laughs> I might have been like, all right. Mm. Cool. <laughs> but. Okay. Um. Can you, sir? Can I what? Have a friend with benefits. Can you have. Can I have a friend with benefits and not catch feelings? Uh, okay. I gotta choose my word carefully, especially talking with you, I know you're gonna debate me on it. Um, yes. But. I would care about them a little bit because I'm messing with them consistently. I mean, I'm into you. I'm interested in you. Something about you. I don't just get, yeah, we get turn ons. You can see someone with a pretty face, but a person personality can make them really ugly. I know you met somebody and they're like, God damn, she look good. Or your kid, oh, he looks good. But when you meet them, they end up being like us or whatever. And it just turns you off. Right. So that, that could happen. Okay. But if I see you, it's not just a physical attraction. Like, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, I'm into you. I'm listening. No, because I'm listening to you. So okay. I can have a conversation with you. Now, the younger me, you know, college years and shit, okay, I don't care about that. But when you get older, it's just kind of like, um, I believe the person you sit, you mess around with says a lot about you. If I'm messing around with somebody that just don't like to take care of themselves, bad hygiene, that's that, that's talking about me too. It's like, you can say, oh, but you're messing with that me. That means you was okay with it. I'm like, we should compliment each other. <laughs> yeah. So I can't. Be sitting here like, you know, just somebody I'm messing with just, oh yeah, they just got good sex, but everything else horrible. What about like, damn, what are you saying about yourself? Touche. There you go. Touche. So, I feel like, yeah, but I, I gotta like you a little bit. So that's when the feelings come by. Not like deep, like, oh, be, I wanna be with you. No, yeah, but yeah. it's more like, hey, I like you. I wanna get to know. If it becomes something more, can I see it? Maybe. Because if I'm spending my time resting you, whatever we're doing sexually, then I, there's something about you. Okay. I don't just sleep with this person. But that's just me. I'm not talking about for him or anybody else. That's me. Right, 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 right. And I don't disagree with the, like, oh, I think you're a cool person or, like, I, like, care about you a little bit. Like, I care about every single person that I've... Uh, <laughs> you sound like a hypocrite. Okay, see? See, hold on. I can't say so you're going no, back. No, 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 no. no. I was about to say that I care for everybody that I've said. <laughs> but, um... I do care for everyone that I've been friends with benefits for a long time. Okay, I now care, we're somewhere. But I care, but that's different than catching feelings. I'm not saying I caught feelings. I'm like, yeah, you're a cool dude. Like, there's one dude that, like, I, I'm a hella wing woman for. Okay. I be hooking his ass up. Wait, 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 I'm a great wing woman. Hold on. Okay, meaning what? Like, like, we'll go to a bar and I'll be like, hey, feels? I'll be like, hey, she cute. Let me uh, go. And he's your friend with benefits? He was previously. So, did y'all like have threesomes? No. Like, I'm just scared because you be his wingman, so we be like, you get to check and y'all go home. I've in my life. Just one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, Mom. Everybody, <laughs> come on now. It's 2019. I'm Everybody just kidding. I mean, I wouldn't even consider that a threesome if you ain't, like, what you mean? interact I mean, with the other she person. See? Oh. That's, Is scary. that not a threesome for me? If I'm, like, uh... Oh, but that means that, that you're more of a receiver, not a Oh, giver. I'm definitely a receiver when it comes to a female. Okay. I can't give. Just for the female. Because, yeah. okay, no, because her, okay, you said earlier in the conversation you don't give oral to I, a man. That is false. I said that for a <laughs> Hold on. man. Hold on. Didn't she say that? Oh, but if you're my boyfriend, I'm going to suck a dick. All right. Oh, for the boyfriend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That's mm -hmm. Just for the boyfriend. Like deep throat. <laughs> just for the boyfriend? Not just for a boyfriend. Uh, but not a friend with benefits that I don't know where his dick's been yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh man, what? Hey, anyway. You saying all oh, man, what? Like what? Go ahead, what? go back, go back. <laughs> but never mind. Finish what you were saying. Well, no. Um, when you initially like start the the friend 
would benefit his relationship with someone. You guys usually like put in some type of time, like we go out on a date. It's not no oh. hey, you're attractive. Let's fuck right now. Type uh, of deal. You have to go out and be like, hey, let me see where your mental game is or, or some shit like that. Like, if you're very good at conversation, is you know that goes a long way. If you're very, you know, if you could talk to me, that goes a long way. So, with mm -hmm. us being a friend with benefits type of person, like I'm going to want to fucking talk to you because you're great at conversation. <laughs> okay. I'm going to want to do that. I'm not just going to want to hit you up and say, hey. Let's just fuck, knowing that you're just a fucking excellent person. Like if you got like some type of tutelage in, let's say computers or movies or anime or video games or some shit like that, and I vibe with you on that connection, I'm going to want to fucking talk to you on that connection. Right. It's not going to be like, hey, uh, let's just fuck, and I'm just out here just roaming the streets looking for somebody to have a conversation with. Right. And your ass is right here, right. giving me. Everything, your whole body. It's like, come on now. I, I feel Fuck you. Fuck out of here. And that's hilarious that you say that because I just went through the same thing like a month ago. Mm -hmm. So I know this dude. Okay, we've known each other like basically since I moved here, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he, um, I don't know. We ended up talking like, oh, we should like, because he's not looking for a relationship, or whatever. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, if you ever kind of initiated like a, yeah. a friend with benefits, right? And I was like, okay, let me, let me think about it, right? And I was like, let me, let me put some ground rules in. Like, nobody will know, blah, 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 blah all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then he came over, right? And we was just kicking it. And we was watching TV. We was watching Netflix. I don't remember what we was watching it. Netflix and, and chill. Netflix and chill, right? Mm -hmm. you know? so it was like the first time, so it was kind of awkward, whatever. Yeah. And, like, nothing happened. And he... <laughs> Nothing happened, like, like he couldn't get it up. Or? As in, like, nothing. Like, we was just, like, cuddling. And I was like, when is this going like, to go into effect? You know, I was, you know. And he was like, don't be mad. And I was like, why? He was like, I don't like a lot of people, but I've enjoyed, like, because we talked a lot. Yeah. We talked a lot. And he's like, but I enjoyed my time with you. And he's like, and my, mom, and my mom's always told me not to ruin a good thing. And I was like, that's wait, like a, that's not like a, a, a excuse. Hold on, hold on. I was like, like wait, what the fuck just happened, right? I'm sitting here thinking about it. And he was like, I mean, not that I don't want to fuck you. <laughs> He's like, not that I don't want to have sex with you. But I just want to, I think I want to do this again tomorrow. And I was like, uh, okay, right? So I was like, oh, he like likes the conversation. He mm -hmm. He's feeling that vibe. So he didn't want to ruin it with a fuck and we're just friends with benefits and he's in that box because once you're in that box you can come in now disagree <laughs> go ahead <laughs> no you said you said you wanted to interpret it go ahead no no that's what i got from it because it's like okay well shit sometimes i feel like now especially in this area you gotta fucking give consent like fucking for sure fucking right like shit. <laughs> for real like if a woman is cuddling with you and touchy frilly with your ass, doesn't mean she wants to have sex. I'm just pull your fucking dick out. So it's initially up to a woman, I feel, in this area, just to like kick it off, like a rub or you pulling my dick out or something like that. Something has to happen with a, a woman first. It, it can't just be like all oh, like okay rubbing up. What do you think about that shit? Um, I, feel you like, think it's I think that was an excuse. Oh. Because I don't, I'm going to keep it real with you. Because the thing, yeah, y'all could be vibing. And y'all was already vibing. Yeah. So the connection is already there. Yeah. So how is y'all having sex going to mess up a good thing? If anything, it would bring it, it would make y'all more connected. Because a lot of times you have sex, especially great sex. I ain't going to say good, great sex with someone. You guys become even more closer. Yeah. Be like, damn, we got good conversation and good sex. Oh man. man, she just said it's hard for somebody to step out that box. So we don't. Well, no, no, not yet, but yeah, but no, but that's the it's hard for someone to step out that box. But, but like I already, off I already put those ground rules out there. Like yeah, this I is know. all it is gonna be. Hey, but I'm just saying. Though. So oh, maybe that part. maybe that was like oh skirt. See? You know, maybe I actually want to date this girl or be with her. Like maybe he wants oh, to yeah. ask me out on a date later. Like uh, why would he want to? I feel like I feel like I'll be overthinking. 
Because to me, that would be Not more, everybody likes to bone first before not, they well, actually I'm not saying, get But y'all was it. talking for a good minute, though, right? Like, y'all was kicking it. He said he liked you. <laughs> He's not getting low. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, okay. Oh, what are we talking? Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna hop over the table. I'm just no, no, no. We no, talk. Saying, I mean, no, no, but right now. that's all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is though, because the because you guys already established that. that that's just my thing. So, but you know, that was saw, like our our first time, like like really hanging out one on one. Okay, and so you, we never we never really established a like we could actually be. I gotcha. Cool one on one, like. Right, but you're saying because you know when you hang out with somebody in a group, it's like, oh, are you leaning on other people to actually like help communicate you. Yeah. and and or dig this person, or is it actually? But you're saying if he has sex with you, that he would be in that, in that whatever, in that well, box, just fine. Because sense. I told him that that was that was ground rules. No. I have ground rules when I throw out uh, friends with benefits. Okay. If you want to be your friends with benefits with me, number one, you ain't gonna be out that. Now, okay, and this is just my stories, and, and this isn't me trying to sound cocky, this is just, I'm honest. So a lot of times, you can start out as a friend with benefits, but mm -hmm. let's say the sex is the best sex you ever had, and it, in your case, the dick is amazing, or was it amazing. I feel like that can make you want, now that could somewhat bring feelings into it, like damn, like how you ever been, what do they call it, digmatized? No, for real. Like, like, like say so. Not me. Into, 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 into the person. Yeah, you all fucked up. I How's that happening? Been there. Yeah. Been there. How's that? Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So. But but. You gotta like think about it, cause maybe that maybe that would happen, and maybe it wouldn't. But it's are you are you willing as a man to take that risk? If he's sitting here saying I don't like very many people, I don't like to talk to nobody. But I really yes, one hundred percent. Because everything you do is a gamble. Every relationship, <laughs> every relationship, every marriage, every whatever. You know what? No, every, oh, no everything. No, I'm giving. People could disagree. Agree. Every relationship, every marriage, dating, whatever. It's all a gamble. Me, if I'm like, hey, be my girl, whatever the case is. I don't know if I'm going to be with you for the rest of my life, but I'm taking a chance, which is a gamble. Okay. If I marry this person or that person, I don't know if I'm truly going to be with you, but I believe and I am going to be with you for the rest of my life. It's a gamble. So I So why not take a gamble? I have a question for you. I got an answer for you. Do you think that you could have shitty sex with someone, mm -hmm. end up really liking the person for who they are, whatever, whatever, and end up being okay sex later? Mm -hmm. Well, hold on, say it. Repeat yeah. that. Okay, so for Break this down. is a scenario, right? Mm -hmm. So one of my best friends in high school, right? Okay. She <laughs> she started dating this dude. My best friend. Hey, best friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she started dating this dude, yeah. and then they fucked. It was shitty. Okay. She was like, "What the fuck? Whatever." But she's still talking to him, and then she started catching feelings, mm -hmm. dumb fell in love, and she's like, it's, it's it's great sex now, like all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. I mean, Is that possible? Yeah, to have, for the sex to be bad, but to become good? Yeah. Yeah, it's it all about communication. It's all about communication, communication and the feelings that you get, so I don't remember how it's correlating with that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> either, so you got me into it all. Yeah, I know. I know where you was going with it. Right direction. Yeah. Oh, because, because why going? would you risk it and have some shitty ass sex? Because maybe, maybe, me and him having sex would have been shitty, mm -hmm. and we would have got to know each other, mm -hmm. and then it would have been great. So why not get to know each other and then have sex? Okay. That's because, no, 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 that. no. I got to Okay, but just make sure because I'm about to go in on this. Say it. Just finish the last part. So, just say what you just said. So, so you're saying if um, get to know the person first. So in that case, if the sex is shitty, we kind of the sex isn't it? gonna be shitty. When you ultimately, when you have feelings involved with somebody, like that sex ain't gonna be shitty. Like it might need some work. Mm -hmm. It might need some work, but you won't have that connection regardless. And that connection is gonna speak louder than your dick doing whatever it's doing. Yeah, but it could also kind of hurt that connection too. That sex could hurt a relationship. Yeah, it can. Not that, that sex could yeah, hurt a, a relationship. not a strong relationship, but like if I'm really like. Oh, right, if. It depends. Yeah, like it depends. Are you a nipple? Like that, like, Listen, like, small dicks matter too. Hey, oh. that's hilarious. Um, but but <laughs> you're, you're, you're a nipple, right? You say you're a nipple. So, so it I didn't say that. Are you a nipple? No. Okay, I'm sorry. You just like sex. But you love sex. 
Okay, you know, for a person that loves sex, sex. I, 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 say I love sex, you know? But I mean, I don't, sex doesn't control me, I control it. But I love sex. Yeah. So I mean, I love sex enough to where yeah. like, so I love sex enough to where like, yeah, and the sex is horrible, it could hurt my relationship. I can't say for yours or this and that, but I enjoy. So you're gonna tell me if you was dating a girl. If I was dating a woman. A woman. Okay. <sighs> dating a woman and yes. Let's say like she was like, you know what? Oh no, you had the best first day ever. You were like, shit, I'm gonna call the homies. This girl dope as hell. Before sex. Okay. Did you just hear me? Yes, first okay. Day? Go, go ahead. Okay. And then first day ends and you like are like, okay, let me get a second date. So you go on a second date, you're still feeling this girl, vibing with her or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she says, mm, I don't have sex until like six months into a relationship. Okay. You done? So do I still got somebody on the side that I'm fucking in? Yeah. In a relationship. <laughs> so, Wait, what? you be an asshole or not. Six months, she said, I have to be in a relationship for six months before I fuck. Well, hold on. That's better than uh, celibate. No, but I'm just saying, like, but okay. Six months? Once? That's how about you. Like, if, if I'm... A, <laughs> If I'm <laughs> initially, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. I feel like if you have to wait six months while in a relationship, then it's like, what the fuck did we establish before the relationship? The fuck was I'm, right? I'm telling you, you went on a first asking, date. Can you do it? Though? You went on a first date. I'm still fucking somebody else then. I'm still fucking somebody okay, else. Okay, but she, she wants that six months commitment. She wants that six months commitment. Would you be in a relationship? Would, would you be in a relationship with her faithfully? Would you be in a relationship with her faithfully for six months? Uh, but without sex, like she ain't gonna have sex for six months okay. faithfully. Is she giving top? Is she giving head? No. No. Hair job. Uh, I mean, no. No, I wouldn't. Because she said, because no. you know, if you, uh, like, if you start man. some shit, and I'm gonna tell you why. Shit. But I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let Ill go first. I'm gonna tell yeah. you why. Like, what, go no, ahead. I'm just saying, like, I feel like, I mean, it, it's possible, but if, how long does it, how much time does it take to be in a relationship with that person? Because we spoke about this, and I think you already said it earlier. People don't really establish when they're in a relationship. Right. Like how long do you court somebody? Okay, maybe you maybe y'all talked about it. Y'all was open about it. Communication was on point. Yeah. But still like when I initially meet a woman, even till this day, it's like or a woman meets me. Nobody is willing to admit that they want a relationship. They say well, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just, you know, just out here testing water, some bullshit like that. And that's real. Nobody says, hey, uh, my intent is to date you and, you know, like get to know you, then date you and see where it goes. No, I'm doing What? You don't have no intent? I do be, I do that Nobody shit. has no intent. It's like, what are you, <laughs> what is your intent? I that's why when I meet a, a female or a woman, for your sake, um, you, I have to have an intent. Like mm -hmm. my intent is, hey, my intent is to be your friend first so I can get to know you. If I'm your friend, then at least when we start dating, we'll have something to fall back on. Right. Period. Because if we're dating and I can't be your friend and I'm just like learning this new shit, like random shit that I don't necessarily like, it's like, man, you're a shitty person and my loyalty is amazing. So why the fuck would I give you that? Okay. Just period. Okay, so, so let's change up the scenario. Yeah, so, okay. oh, go ahead. We already know you ain't gonna do it. Okay, we can move on. I was gonna say why? No, because you you make it sound like oh, I'm just because because I just want pussy. No, because my thing is, um, this is why I wouldn't date someone that's celibate. I respect it. I respect it. I get it. You want to say yourself or your man, blah 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 blah. My thing is, I don't want to take that gamble to where I put a ring on that finger and the sex is horrible. Why would and then the sex doesn't anything? get because some people oh. celibate. I'm talking about it's oh, not okay. the same same scenario. Why well, I want to be with someone that's celibate? I need to know that our sex is good before I marry. Not saying it's all about sex, but sex is important in a relationship. People get sexually frustrated. Yeah. They can hurt you. People get mad. Oh, yeah, they're taking the sex is bad and things like that. But they're saying, "Oh, I'm celibate. I ain't gonna get married." To no, I need to know that. Yeah, this game we connect on that part because I want to connect. But with it's six months you don't know. Hmm? In six months, you're gonna know she ain't celibate. Like yeah, that. no, but you went in six months, that's half a year. And that's to find out, and it's 
Why well, can't you give it time? All right, what if y'all was friends mm -hmm. for a long time? All right. Y'all liked each other, mm -hmm. didn't know that y'all liked each other, right? Yeah. And then it starts talking, and then she says that shit. So you already have that foundation. Well, you already know you like her as a person. I'm an awkward ass friend, so I ask like questions, like random ass questions. So, <laughs> so I'm not. be like, are you celibate for six months before you date? No, I mean, <laughs> but like, you can't bullshit a bullshitter, they say. So I Indeed. beat around the bush with questions sometimes, and you're giving me information, and you're like, the fuck are you asking me that for? And it's like, okay, well, I understand, I know that. And I would get the feeling that you make a guy wait the six months. But I think it's really hard if you're a friend first and then you move into that situation, like that sexual chemistry, whatever, right. is like hard to avoid. Like if I know I'm attractive and you think I'm attractive and I find you highly attractive, there's gonna be some times where we just like chilling on the couch or some shit like that and my dick get hard and you just like wet and just ready to fuck right then and there. And- Bam, there's a baby. Yeah, I don't want- <laughs> I don't want there to be like, oh, you have to go type of situation. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Mm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Right. Just because you're in the mood and I'm in the mood, I have to fucking go? Yeah. Like, are, are, you, are you serious? GTFO. <laughs> mm. But, <laughs> yeah, it's like... I, I mean, I don't even know how I got, yeah, I don't like know how I got that question. But I'm just saying, chemistry means more. So let's ask you the same question then. What? You, okay, you meet a guy, and y'all have everything in common. It's cool, whatever, y'all click. And, um, and it's different for females. But anyways, same question. Um, he's like, hey, I don't have sex for six months. Would you be faithful and wait for him for six months? Y'all establish. Be honest. Come on and see if a female kind of think how a guy thing. No. Why? But why? Okay, but you're asking me. The same question you asked us. Think like a dude. Okay. Um. Well, I want to hear. But we want to hear your your reason though. <laughs> why not? Um. First of all, what nigga doing that? Uh. <laughs> Don't be. Stupid. No, be honest. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Just keep it real. Cause I. We... All right. You like, You want me to be faithful for? <laughs> 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 That's what I said. Thank you. But when I said it, she better see like. <laughs> you ain't gonna say, but yeah, you oh, so. oh, I was just playing. I was oh, playing. Right, I was right, advocate, right. just okay. trying to. But why not? Fish for okay. a little shit. Oh, why? I was just, just because of the kind of person that I am, I, I think I set myself up for failure. Like that would suck. Okay. I mean, could I do it? I think I could do it actually. Oh. Let me think about. It. I started thinking about the toys of my <laughs> toys of my dreams. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, so yes or no? <laughs> We're all lost. What? I, I think I could. <laughs> you think? As but you all know you as, could. As long as I got the assistance of. Yeah, I think I could. Oh. I think I could because honestly. Thankfully, though, we're talking about you. I, I think so because honestly, I think I could please myself more than better than ninety percent of men here. But for six okay, months, so that kind of gets boring yeah, so. a little bit. Keep. I mean, it's something nah, you need a real thing. Just put a good old flick on. Alright, that's something like the episode for next time. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's different though, because women don't come from just dick, yeah. right? And so, so mental simulation I, as well. Mental simulation and, you know, All that right. one thing y'all can't find. But, when I'm doing it myself, I can focus on that. Yeah. Like, I know what I want. You know you, and I know what I like. 90% okay. of the time, my orgasms myself are better than anything with it. Yeah, as it should be. Yeah. So, for six months of that? Hell no. Hey, if a give friend me all hot benefits, make out, mm-mm-mm-mm, I, I boo. If a friend with boo. benefits cannot, okay, you said you got boundaries. Boo. If a friend with benefits cannot make you, <laughs> if a friend with benefits cannot make you orgasm. Oh, then there's no, no point, of, they, they there's no point in his existence. In his existence, <laughs> so pretty much, so so they have to make not during this. Yeah, okay. Hey. Oh, they take one time for me not to come. I mean, cause I'm sure you don't. And I'm gonna let you know. I'm sure you don't come every single time, though. 
Um, did I come every no, single time? No, I'm sure you don't come every single time when you mess with a friend with benefits. No, nah, sometimes I'm in my head too much, blah, 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 blah. But if it's like not my fault, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you I didn't come. You call him out like What's that? What's the problem? Okay. Do you call if he dudes came, out? Hell yeah, because if you came, I'm going to need you to do a little something. Use a little something. All right. You got hands, you got mouths, you got toys, whatever. I'm like, oh, shit. Nah, I don't know. Gotcha. All right. So, let's get our final thoughts in. All right. So, going through back and forth, like we were saying. Now, with everything that we talked about, what's your answer now? Can you have a friend with benefits and not catch feelings? Yes. Okay. Let's use it to that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> going through this and that. Is your answer the same, or now you kind of like, eh? Um, like I said, it depends on the, the time. That's the most important thing. That, that's a factor. Because, it's like, if I'm putting in time with you consistently having sex with you, then, like, come on now. There's, like, some type of bond there. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it 100. Like I said, I think um, you will. You cannot. I don't think someone can have sex, at least for me. You can't have sex with someone on a consistent ba basis and not feel anything. Because, like I said, I'm gonna speak for me. If I'm having sex with someone, it gotta be something more than just sex that makes me want to keep coming back consistently. If it's just sex, I'm just gonna hit it once and I'm gonna leave. Right. You know, because like, it's nothing, it's just sex. I can get that from whatever. But on a consistently, I'm, I, I like you. Not saying I'm gonna be your man, shit like that, but I like you. Something about you makes me keep coming back. So that's my final thoughts on that. Anyway, so, well, okay. yeah. anyway, so I want to thank um, Monica for coming out. Where can we? Uh, where can they find you, find you at? Mocliff08. On what? IG. You got Instagram. Say how you spell it. Oh, M O C L I F F zero eight. All right. You can find me Ray Amphi. IG Chillin eighty six C H I L L N eighty six. Um, L only on Twitter. L is underscore Villa. I like me. All right, y'all.